Hi, I'm Marek Mularczyk and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you the performance of uh, Premiere Pro on Microsoft Surface Pro. So what I'm using here, just to show you that it's really possible, is I'm using quite an old Microsoft Surface Pro 3 and if we look in the specs, it's only the 8 GB of RAM machine well only by today's standards, but if you're looking at it, is the Intel Core i5 processor Rather than two and a half gigahertz, eight gigabytes of RAM. Okay, and even on this machine, you can easily run Premiere really quickly. Okay, so I've got a web browser running already, and so if I launch Premiere Pro, it will launch quite quickly. I'm using the latest version, so Premiere Pro CC 2018. Now, obviously, there might be situations where you may want to have more RAM, sixteen gigabytes of RAM, or maybe even faster processor like Intel i7. But for day-to-day -day use, uh, this machine will be just fine. Now, bear in mind that this is more like a tablet than a laptop. Uh, very portable, very slim, but you can use anything really in here. So you can easily import the footage, even high-resolution footage, and it's quite quick. Okay? So if I just make a new project in here, uh, let's say I'm going to do like a test project, and I'll put it on desktop. So going to browse to the desktop and put it in here. Okay, I'm choosing the open Mercury engine. Yes. Uh, okay. And let's say just an example. So let's import some footage here. So I'm going to double click on the import media to start. And on a desktop, uh, on a desktop, I've got these two clips. Okay, so let's just import them. So I've got these clips in here, they've already been imported, okay. So if we look at some metadata, uh, let's just make it uh, bigger as well. So I got 1920 by 1080 Full HD and the 4K footage, okay. So let's go back to normal view and say if we use, say, the Full HD footage, we'll just make a new sequence from that. So pretty quick, really. And I'm also going to drop uh, this 4K clip in here as well. Okay, so we've got these two clips. It's going to remove the sound in here. Actually, I'll leave it. Why not? And yes, it's a, it's a higher f um, size resolution, but it's okay. And just zoom in a bit so you can see how responsive it is. Uh, let's say if we add something to the clips, so if I go back in here and maybe add some effects, so if I go to effects panel, and let's say if we do some blur, so what we want is some Gaussian blur in here. So that's the Glossian Blur. I'm just going to drop it onto this clip. Maybe on the other one as well. Okay, so on here, we'll apply some Gaussian Blur. Maybe we'll mask it. So use the Ellipse tool to make a, a mask in here. And, you know, we can resize it. And I'm going to invert it. Okay, and the same on that one here. So if we select it, add some blurriness and add a mask, maybe like a rectangle this time. Okay. Just make it bigger. There we go. And again, I'm going to invert it as well. And even though we're running Premiere with these effects, and we're still getting the yellow line in here, so it's going to render it just fine. And just so you can see, I'm actually going to open Photoshop as well, maybe at the same time. So you can easily run multiple applications at the same time. And say back in Premiere, we can add some animation. So maybe this video clip could actually uh, fade in, so we can run, go to opacity. And at the beginning, actually somewhere here, I want it to be 100%, I want it to be fully visible, so add a keyframe. And at the beginning, I'm going to set the opacity to be zero, which will add a keyframe. Photoshop is launching in the meantime, <laughs> so I'll give it a second, so it comes to the front. Okay. Okay, let's so go back to Premiere. So I've got two keyframes, so this is now Fading in this clip in here. 
that's playing just fine with all these effects. Okay. This video is quite uh, stuttering at some points, but it's playing just okay. And then it goes into 4K footage. Which may play quite slow, but you remember you can always render, and there's no problems with rendering. So if I grab this full HD footage, and it's over 10 seconds, so if I just select the entire footage here and go sequence, render, into out, it's more than 10 seconds, this is 314 frames. Obviously, it will be faster if we just run uh, Premiere on it. So, say if I quit Photoshop for now. When rendering, it's gone past 10% already, even just like maybe two or three seconds. We have Surface Pro 6 now, that's been announced a couple of days ago by Microsoft. Premiere, I have another video which shows the performance with Lightroom on the same machine. It's just finishing rendering a full HD video that's 314 frames uh, and with effects on it as well. Okay. You know, and then it's playing. Okay. So, any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully, see you soon on another video. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTrain.co.uk. For more information about my co courses, I'm Adobe Certified Expert and Adobe Certified Instructor. Uh, have a look on my website at SciTrain.co.uk or have a look at my courses at Udemy and Skillshare. I've got some Photoshop, Lightroom courses in there. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.